Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome to another episode of Farming Simulator 17. Goldcrest Valley and a, our gold canola has gone brown. It's time to harvest. So we've got the canola, canola field to do. We've got the way over there, the little blue New Holland tractor. we got to get the sowing started as well. So that's our primary goals for this episode. We'll see how that works. Let's move him forward and hire him out. Yep, who is that, I wonder? I didn't see who was hired. There's a there's a letter name for every one of the uh, on-player characters in the game. In here, we've got the black canola starting to spill in. Yeah, kind of fun watching the animations. They fire up the lights automatically when it's a certain time of day. Anyway, let's hop out. That's not what I wanted. I wanted the E. There we go. <laughs> and let's head over. In between last episode and this one, I went ahead and ran the uh, uh, the sprayer over onto the new grass field over at 11. So we'll get a one step toward... That's right, I was going to change that. Let's do that right now. I was going to reset this since we don't need to see all of these sprayings over and over again. That's not it, is it? I can't do it from this, this screen, right? Plant growth weathering. Fertilizer states. Let's change that to a 1. So from here on out, 1 fertilizing is enough to get the fields, hopefully, up to that 90% mark with the, uh, the plowing necessary to finish it off. That's probably a better way to do it. We spent a lot of time just doing little things like spray and spray and spray. Anyway, fire this up. We're going to put weed in here. It's already set for it. So let's get this guy started. Sorry. There you go. And let's see the difference in the soils. But let's grab a tractor to... to do what? To plow. We need to plow that field. Let's go ahead and get that one going too. So that would be this guy. And the plow is behind the cultivator because I was thinking we were done with plowing. That's right. Oh well. We'll juggle things around a little bit. So this should be the last plowing job for a while. I don't think he's going to be able to handle this big blue one. Not on this field. There's obstacles at the end right where the harvester is going right now. So we'll stick to the little one this time. Where am I? There you are. Um, let's put you out over here. Right there. Keep the time set at one for now. It's already getting quite yellow out here. Kind of, it's gonna be hard to see by the end. I think we'll probably just call this one the yellow episode, <laughs> not the orange box or the uh, was it the white album. This will be the yellow episode. <laughs> All right, let's get that going. And we're not set to create new fields. Good. Well, I just gotta check that one now. But they probably will conflict at the other end. In fact, let's unhire and let him actually get turned around and come back. We'll see uh, if we can keep them at opposite ends of the field. Maybe that will work. Otherwise, there's not much more to do here. We'll wait for the next round of uh, next growth cycle to get this one planted so everything could be out of sync by one. 
Otherwise, I see we have clouds coming in, so midnight or so, we should switch over to a cloudy sky, and then we'll see what happens after that. The only real uh, issue involved here is that you cannot harvest in the rain or hail. Otherwise, you can continue doing anything. kind of wish it was a little more strict than that. I mean, trying to plow in the rain, that's tough. The tractor gets bogged down in the mud, and, and uh, it's not that easy. So I would think that you should be limited to more things. But that's the way the game is, and that's, the, that's what we get. So hire you out. Bail out. And let's grab a wagon to unload the harvester. So that was... What was in there? Think about that. Was that soy again? Yeah, it was soy. In fact, it was soy. Soy. We're at 15. We sold at 14 last time doesn't give you the hint that it's going up any higher. This may have been the peak. I'm really wondering about grabbing 15,000 going and selling this real quick. What do you think? Where's the harvester? He's half full. Half full of canola. I think we're going to let the harvester just sit and wait for us a little bit. Because once we... Well, we do have two tractors and two tippers. Alright, we'll do both. That's even better. Let's grab this tipper and empty the harvester, then grab the other tipper and go and dump off a load of soy. Take that 15,000 just to cover wages and whatnot. And it's probably time for some lights. So we add a little bit of cushion to the bank. Now, where are we coming in? That's right, we're coming in over freshly plowed fields. Hmm. So we're going to head down to the bottom. Now, the plow, we know, does go faster than the harvester, so he's eventually going to catch up. Probably should have waited until the harvester was right next to him. Then he would have stayed out of sync much longer. But let's let him get uh, through this circle here. Is he going to turn right to go left? Nope. He's going to do a three-point turn. Now the plow might have an issue, which would slow him down for a little while if he ran into me. Hmm. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Good. I ought to slow him down. I he may do that at each end if the harvester can get there fast enough. Now I'm going to do that manually. Let's see. Two takes us down to six miles an hour. No, it doesn't. My cruise control not going down. That's weird. Oh, one does. Okay. Get out further so I can talk over this noise. By the time I get the cruise control figured out, there's six and three. Whew. Time I figured time I got there that uh, we'd be done. No, nope. one. He's not going six. He's going five and a half. Okay, we'll take it to five. Okay, he's now dumping off in little spurts, if you look at the numbers over there. That means he's emptied out, and just as he's harvesting, he's putting into us. Let's run over here and block this guy. And actually get out and unhire. He's just going to have to wait for a while. Ah, turn the engine off. Couldn't hear it from all the noise. Alright. Um, we 
probably need to be down at the other end anyway, but I'm just going to leave him there. He's not hired. He can wait. Don't know if I turned the engine off, though. I couldn't tell. I thought this one was running. But we'll let the other one get uh, halfway through this. Actually, we'll let him wait long enough to... Where are you? There you are. To run this one in with a load of soy. I'm going to get back and finish off the plowing. Alright, this guy's doing pretty good. No craziness happening. cut in early. So we can try at least to make this turn without scraping the sides of everything. Nope, not going to do it. There we go. It's a tough silo. It can take it. Alright. Let's look at this over again. 15,000. Well, that scared me. It's this one. Is at Gomez Ridge Acres. Where is that? If I double click... Double click. I think that'll put it on the map. So we're heading to here with soy. And let's just go to the map real quick. Gomez. Down there near the cattle. Well, cattle are here. So the store. Where do you enter this? I don't think I've ever noticed, unless it's right on this corner, how to get into this pathway here. The cattle enter. Don't remember that diagonal. That's the shop. Here's the cattle. And they enter right there, and there's no indication on the map there either. Okay. Somewhere around this corner must be the entry point. All right. So in that case, hop out of here. R. Go over to Soy. There we are. Fill her up. It's going to take most of them, but we've got another crop coming. That'll be fine. Boy, that fills fast. All right. Wish I had the faster tractor right now, but this is what we have left. Helper H has stopped. Tank is empty. Well, glad I saw that. Maybe we're not going to make that trip just yet. Okay. We barely got halfway this time. I thought I had this thing full. Maybe I didn't. Maybe it surprised me. It does that once in a while. It finishes off a, uh, uh, a seed bag and stops filling. It doesn't just start filling from the next one. So there are times when... Whoa forward. There we go. Times when uh, I assume that it finished filling. It really just finished because one of these went away. Let's see if it does it this time. Nope. This time it finished filling. Never know what to think. I do know this wagon is, or this uh, trailer here is in an awkward place now that I can't uh, bounce out of the roof to see where I'm going. Can, good idea to put him somewhere else. Let's pull into here. Looks like he got about this far. I didn't want to turn. Interesting. It's like it needs a front weight. Now, I'm a little worried about alignment there. Yeah, we'll call that good. Hire you out, see what we got. It is off a little. I may have to go touch up a little spot there. But... He's going to be, be full long before we get back. Let's, yeah, I don't think I've got time now. So let's find the other tipper. And I'm going to top him off. Zoom out so the noise doesn't get too loud. Alright. Roll into there. 
and cruise control. Cruise controls for speed. I wish there was autopilot as well. <laughs> Now he's speeding up quite a bit. Now let me floor it. There we go. Let's do this manually. Pretty erratic. Okay, that's good enough. Park this guy back down here and one more time try to get the, the uh, soy in. What'd they call that one? Gomez Ridge or something like that? Alright, you're done. Let's see, lights off. There we go. So, there we are. Oh, I can feel the weight. He's struggling. Which means he's also not going to lose much speed when I let off in the accelerator. And we have a slow car in front of us. Clear, clear. Leaving us behind like a snail with this load. <laughs> well, I'll see you at the other end of the map. Oh, would you look at that? That's right, it puts a great big beacon up, so you, you can't miss it if you'd want to. Let's get through here. There is... No, there's no entrance there. There's no entrance here. I always have a hard time figuring out how you're supposed to get into these. It's not obvious. Nothing over there. So I guess we're going this way. It's like a, uh, a mist encroachment there. Should have been a way to get in. We're going up there. Just because that's driving me nuts, let's get rid of that. There we go. That's how you mark a spot on the map. Alright, so what are they going to give us for it? What is 15 times 15? Yeah, I don't know. The brain's not working that, that well right now. 25, right in there. <clears throat> Twenty-three, two. Okay. All right, our harvester's going to have a full tank soon, so let's get back. I'm curious to see if there was an encroachment on this side. I mean, there's no curbing; you could just drive off of it, but there's no official entry point. Yeah, there isn't. We're just going to have to make our own. So I don't think I've missed the, uh, the pop-up for the harvester being full. It must still be okay. Let's get this guy plowing again. And we'll head down there. And we did not leave it running. We just left all the lights on. And that's fine. The uh, hired hand is going to turn those lights all back on again anyway. Alright. Something like that. And hire him out. Am I good enough? It's actually... Well, it made it. It was a little bit iffy there. Okay. Uh, he's over there. His beacon is not on yet. Although, where am I at? Right here. I do want to catch him when he's going in this direction. <laughs> is there any chance of doing that still? I think so. I think I can stop him at the end. Maybe we'll get this thing dumped. 
Actually, quite a bit uh, coming out of here compared to what I'm used to. I used to never fill a bucket or uh, fill a tipper. thirds? Not quite. So a lot more canola coming. Good. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. Calm down there. Alright, let's go dump this guy. Twelve. Yeah, we'll probably uh, overload this with the next load. Now, I didn't block the pathway of that guy, right? No, everybody's happy. Okay. I was going to get a cultivator going. D has finished his task. There he is. But um, I want to clean up that end with the plow before I cultivate it all in. Boy, these helpers, they never turn their lights off. That way, also, we can put the big cultivator on as the plow will be finished. That done in no time. Alright, so we're past 30. This is on its way up. That seems to be capped. Hmm. Still 15 there, but we're 600 left in this one. Alright, so that's the end of the selling for a while. I don't trust that that's as high as it goes. I know I've seen canola much higher. So I'm going to sit on that one. Alright. Let's put this guy away. We'll use the other tipper to finish the, uh, the job over there. There we go. Hello, Roof. And we'll go drop this guy off. So what plants in that field? I think I'm going to hold off on sweet or sugar beets and potatoes anymore until we do get enough money to buy some more fields. Uh, this guy over here. And then we'll put up a whole uh, setup for it. Where's my... That wasn't the button I wanted, but I guess that's the one I'll take. Um, let me go to the map. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking I want to either buy these two or these two. Potato and beet. And then some nice uh, placeables with uh, bays that we can dump them into with the conveyors all set up and ready to go. I think that's the plan for one of these sets. So we're going to hold off on those. So otherwise, Sunflower also needs its own... Uh, well, we need another harvester to handle that. So we're back to, really, canola and uh, soy again. Soy seems to be doing a good job. We already have that planted, so let's go one more round of canola out here. It's probably the best route to go. Uh, that button right there. So these guys are doing their thing. They seem to be happy. What else is there to be doing right now? Now what we could do, let's go put this guy over here, and there's probably enough time left in this episode, because I'm, I'm clipping little pieces out here and there. Let's go buy that that implement that, whose name I don't know. We'll call it the, uh, uh, the feed cleaner, but uh, let's go play with that one real quick. Let's see, where to put him? I'm going to put him across the road. I can't be blocking anything. Lights and off. Let's grab. Let's grab this one. And well, we'll go straight to the shop. I'll meet you over there. So in a couple of episodes, I'm going to insert a large amount of cash into the game so we can 
kind of finish out this series playing with the big boys. And what I'm curious about is, what do you think are good harvesters and tractors? I'm not interested in buying the biggest just for the sake of having the most expensive stuff. What in here, in your opinions, you leave it in the comments, are a good tractor with enough power to do most anything that has got a good speed? Or what are the, what's, what's the best deals out here? I mean, I like the Voltra, but if the Fent is, is better, you know, this one, 31 miles an hour, 37 miles an hour, 350 horsepower, 300 horsepower. So this one's got more speed, this has got more power. This costs a whole lot more a day than this one. So in that case, 300 would probably do most anything. So in other words, what are your opinions on tractors and on harvesters? What's, what should we get to, uh, uh, to finish out the game with? Uh, uh, probably two or three choices of, of, uh, of each so we can kind of experiment with them. And we could go through and buy everything just so we can experience all of them. But you can also do that by, uh, by contracting. You get pretty much everything available that way, too. But that uh, is something to be thinking about. What should we finish the game off with? What kind of equipment? What's impressive out there? Other than getting the most expensive everything. That's, you know, we're still going to have $5 million is still going to go really fast, too. So what am I here for? This guy. The Hilaris Octo 1500. $1,400. Let's select and... No colors, buy. All right, let's go play with this one while we're waiting for the uh, uh, the harvester to finish off and the plow to finish off. So I only have a choice of a rear PTO on this one. So let's spin this guy around out there. Something like that. There we go. And let's head over to... Hello, sign. Hello. <laughs> let's move over to the cattle. And give this a try. So V drops it to the ground. And B turns it on. Interesting. So I am guessing that it's only going to work in one direction. In other words... What was that? Counterclockwise? Clockwise. Yeah, he doesn't alternate. Okay, so i got to be going forward to flip the stuff. Well, maybe not. No, we'll see. We'll see how it works with it. So V drops it, B turns it on. Let's see what happens. I'm going to go to the outside first. Ah, so it is dumping off like so. Okay. So if I were to, let's see, V will come in from the other direction. No, nope. it's still trying to interact with it. Okay. Alright, so let's VB push everything off to that direction for now. Hmm. Still not working as good as I had assumed. Let's take it in a little bit further. It's just kind of spreading it around, huh? Alright, that seems to be working pretty good there. Maybe because we weren't in the within the, the yellow lines, it was having a little trouble. Let's head off into here now. Wow, a little frame rate drop there. Okay. Oh, a little more. What's this guy do? Whoa. You know, I didn't look. It isn't storing it somewhere, is it? That's a big mess. I assumed it was going to flip it back into the feed trough. Maybe I am wrong. So if I were to... Interesting. Well, now I'm not sure what this does. Is it just going to dump it all and leave it there? Huh. What do we have for cleanliness now, out of curiosity? 
cows. Cleanliness, zero. Hmm. So maybe we do still need a bucket. Let's run through there one more time. Go in this direction and just see what it does. But apparently it all still counts. Helper E has finished her task. So VB, run through, and what happens? It just spreads it around. Okay, well, that was an experiment that I think failed. <laughs> Let's set him something like that. Alright, Q. Yep, left a mess. Okay, well I'm going to just leave this guy right here and let's pop over and see what's happening here. Alright, let's clean up the last little bits. Is that all of it? Yeah, I can't see the other end from here. There we go. Do that. 97%. Wasn't much room left in here. But he did finish the job. Make sure that everything's in our field of view over there. It's a tiny bit left. Okay, now we can see everything. So he's done. So we'll go dump this boy back over there, huh? Okay. No cars coming on our private road. Make that turn. Eek. Made it. Need a good rainstorm. Clean this up. Alright, so... Where are we? Well, I'm making a guess we're at a half hour. Clipping things out so I never know how long it actually is. I want to keep it at least a half hour, though. I don't want to come in under... I don't, don't really care for 20-minute episodes watching them, so I don't want to make them... You never feel like you really get enough. But I think this may be a good time to go ahead and call this done. Right? It's not like there's one more thing I wanted to do. Actually, there was one more thing I wanted to get into this episode. What I've been doing lately is, with the, with the plowing, I'll go back and just clip off the ends before I get the cultivating going. So I cleaned up field... what is that one? 14? Yeah, 14 over there. Do that to both ends. Tomorrow we'll get the, uh, uh, the cultivator going on this field. But We'll call this one good for the night. Alright, let's see if I can line this one up right. This plow hangs off to the side. So... Something, well, about like that. Let's find out. I can't hire this one out. After each swath, it thinks it's done. They have to sit there and hit the hire over and over again. I miss one tiny little spot back there, but I'm going to say that's fine. Everything else seems to be lining up right. Nope, missing the edge over here now. Let's back up. At least we'll try to. Doesn't like to back up. There we go. With the plow down. Yep, I think it's getting it all now. Alright, so... Lift that up. Oh, that's not lifting it up. V is turning it. All right. X leans the tractor over. Okay, something like that. Let's go put this away real quick. And then there's one last thing to squeeze into this episode. thing I learned, you can't park this guy in the travel position. It will not allow you to release. It just gives you an angry red symbol down there in the bottom right. So you've got to 
to actually lay it out, it didn't work. I'm not hitting anything. I hit V. Well, maybe let's try it again. Q? Nope. So, I guess X. We've got to unfold it into the the plow position. And then, it'll let me let go of it. So, temperamental. It has a mind of its own. But one last thing I want to squeeze into this episode. I got to thinking about it when the episode started. I drove by a place and thought, you know, that would be a great place to end the episode. So I'm going to drive this around in circles till I remember I need to park it over here. <laughs> and I'm going to go grab our, our lizard pickup truck. Turn off the lights, turn off the beacons, engine. There we go. And get stuck. Race over here. But I got to realizing that uh, I haven't eaten since we started this series, and I'm getting kind of hungry. So I think I'm going to finish today by pulling into the diner over here. This guy going there too? No, good, that way, that way there'll be a table for me. And uh, park this guy and bet you they've got uh, breakfast for dinner here. Mm -hmm. Anyway, this has been Noble Rambler. Thank you guys for watching and hit the subscribe and like if you would. And I'll catch you next time, folks. Bye-bye.